What's up, guys? How's it going? I'm I'm kind of ironing out these kinks right now. I think I think we should be now. We should be live now. What's up, Steve? Oh, what's up, Steve? Staying lifestyle, guys. Uh, one I think of my. We should be now. We should be live now. What's up, Steve? Oh, what's up, Steve? Uh, one of my. We should be now. We should be live now. What's up, Steve? Oh, what's up, Steve? All right. So we're going to figure this out. I'm trying to see how I can um, see myself as well as monitor the chat. Okay, I got an idea. Give me just a second. I'm going to jump on my phone so I can chat on that. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, sir. Conrad Fitzer, man, from Arizona. Thanks so much for tuning in, man. Appreciate it. Yusuf, Yusuf Gattlerab. Hey, so story about Yusuf, guys. Um, I was trout fishing at, uh, I think it was Laguna Niguel. And it was the first time I um, ever fished at Laguna Niguel. And, uh, and then... Um, this young man approached me and um, he knew who I was. I'm like, what the heck? I, I barely even trout fish. <laughs> and uh, he introduced himself and it's Yusuf and turns out he was a subscriber. Um, so really appreciate you, Yusuf, man. Thanks for jumping on. Oh, Linus is on. It's my cousin. Kiwi reacts, man. I appreciate your comments. Rodney's going to be on. Um, he He's like, you know, you, he's the reason why you guys are here, man, you know? <laughs> so um, Rodney's uh, Rodney's on standby. I'm going to introduce him in a second. I want to see if we can get enough people jumped on here. We have 25, and I'd love to see if we can get to 50. If not, that's okay. Just want to wait a couple minutes, though, if that's okay with you guys. Hey, Tiago. Appreciate all your comments and um, just your engagement with me, man. Really appreciate it. Quentin. Dude, Quentin um, was my trout fishing buddy, and uh, um, I met him at one of the park lakes, and we just started uh, keeping in touch through Instagram, and um, I think Quentin's, oh shoot, I forget how old you are, 13 or 14, um, but man, Quentin's a slayer, dude, He he's dialed in, so, um, and just connecting with you, messaging over Instagram, man, dude, this is what it's all about, dude, um, it makes makes it worth it for me to do this. So um, thanks, Quentin. Hey, what's up, Chris? Chris Nakashi. Rodney's here, man. He was here 15 minutes ago, but uh, I wanted to kind of introduce him first. So he's on standby. He, he'll be joining us very, very soon. Um, we're up to 33, guys. I want to see if we can get to 50. Um, that'd be dope. Hey, Saltwater Slayer. Dude, Samuel Balderas, man. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I tell it to you all the time when you comment on my Instagram or on my YouTube. Uh, I always tell you how grateful I am. And, dude, I'm not just saying that, man. Like, you're so positive. And um, I think that's one of the values that I have that's really important to me. And I know Rodney, too. Um, you make, like, you fill me. You fill my cup, bro. So um, thank you for you. Um, yeah, let's see. I want to, I want to try to respond to as many comments as possible. Um, whether, whether it be through the chat or, um, just by talking to you guys. So 705, we're up to 38. Um, and we'll go, oh my gosh, my friend, Chris, dude, Chris, man. Thanks for jumping on sniper Gene. CSA guys, California Surf Anglers. Um, it's a place where I learned um, so much. Um, really, really amazing fishing community. Uh, a lot of kind people and people who gave to me when I had nothing to give. So um, really good people. Uh, Al America, how's it going? 
JB Fishing. Hey, bro. Um, so I I didn't do it, but um, YouTube YouTube uh, flagged your comment, bro. <laughs> it, it wasn't that bad, but you know. Kevin Ramponi, welcome. Ron Redondo, positive vibes all the time and always grinding out there, man. Tiago Franco, my Insta is uh, Benji Kim Fishing, same handle as YouTube. And uh, make sure, and also, now we're up to 45. Awesome. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let, let's let's get to it, guys. So um, just to share with you guys, before I started my YouTube channel and um, I, you know, I started fishing, I fished a lot when I was a kid, but I kind of fell off of it. And probably about, I don't, I don't know how many years back um, when I started getting back into fishing again and um, specifically saltwater fishing and um, diving into the insanity of halibut fishing, um, Rodney... Um, and, and Steve, Steve's here too, staying lifestyle, those two guys, but, um, I mean, today's, today's Rodney's day, man. And Rodney's channel, um, I, I don't even have enough words to describe, um, how impactful it was to me. And then when I started considering starting a channel, um, his channel was, um, his channel, like he makes perfect videos. <laughs> I don't, if there was a perfect video, like I have yet to make a perfect video and not even close, but like somehow Rodney, every single one of his videos is perfect. <laughs> so, um, and also just the values that he brings to the fishing community. Um, just, you know, just in terms of the positivity, positive vibes all around. Um, it's all about teaching and giving, um, to the next generation. And, um, for me, like when I started my channel, like, I wanted my channel, like I took so much inspiration um, from Rodney's channel. I wanted my channel to be like Rodney's channel, you know? Um, so I remember like my first video, Rodney doesn't know this. You know what? Um, I, I wanna share this, but I want Rodney to join. All right, so um, I'm gonna unmute Rodney. You guys ready? Drum roll it. Let's go. <laughs> Am I on? Oh, You're sure. You're on. Hey guys. Um, so Rodney, I, I don't know if you, I, I'm guessing that you don't know this, but, um, when, um, when I made my first, I made a video at Diamond Valley Lake bass fishing with my two cousins just for fun. Um, yeah. that was just like, okay, I got to make a video just to make a video. Um, so I made a bass fishing video. And then my second video was my first official video that I was making for my channel. And it was how to catch sand crabs. And, um, and, and dude, it was my first video, you know, so you can just imagine. And um, you left a comment and it was probably just like really cool. I want to try surf fishing or something. It was, I have to look back and find it, but you left well, a comment. I think and, I, remember, you know, I remember that. I remember yeah, that. Okay. You do? <laughs> yeah, I did. Dude, because I, I had like probably less than 100 subscribers at the time. I don't know. You know, I was just starting and you left a comment and I was like, I remember telling my wife, to my wife, Rebecca. Oh my gosh, like Rod Rodney, Rodney just left a comment, you know? <laughs> and I remember thinking at the time, like, man, if I could just like, if I could just like fish with Rodney one time, that'd be so dope, you know? <laughs> um, and that's just and, and you know, dude, I'm I'm 43 now, like I got like white hairs coming in, you know, and my hair is <laughs> thinning out. But um, that's another thing that's so dope about fishing is it brings us back to like when we we're kids. And I, it was like a kid again, you know? <laughs> 100%. And um, so, you guys, I'm so stoked, um, like honored, like so honored to have um, Rodney on on my channel. Um, and dude, like Rodney will talk more, but you know, it's not an easy thing for him to make that time. So appreciate yeah. it. But yeah. without any further ado, Rodney, um, it's been like a couple minutes since you put out a video. It's been, uh, I want to say, four to five months since I made a a, a Rodney video or on youtube uh it's been a minute i have uh i have uh some good excuses I, I would say but i wanted to tell you guys or tell you benji that you know i'm trying to come back and make some video content um you know life is in the way or not in the way but took more of a priority for fishing at this time and let alone 
making video content, you know, it's hard. You already know making like making the time to go fishing and on top of that filming and editing is like another level. So it takes a lot of time and commitment. And so um, I am slowly trying to come back to uh, fishing and video content. And I, I really like all these, you know, comments, all these people who are live streaming right now, like, you know, 50 plus of you guys just wanting to hear me and Benji. That's pretty humbling, you know? So yeah, it's really cool. Oh man. So um, I want to give you, um, that was a great introduction, but I want to, I want to let you, you, you go on a little bit. Um, what have you been up to, man? What, what's what's going on? Uh, <laughs> with us. Um, I, I know. I, I feel like some people felt like you were done, and yeah. um, so I, I just want you to clear the air. And that that's definitely one huge thing that I wanted for you to do. You know, um, what's going on with you, brother? I'm gonna solo screen it. Oh, for sure. Oh, so weird. Okay, cool. Uh, so I just want to update you guys that. You know, I haven't been making video content because I have a second daughter coming uh, next month, due next month. And so the prep of, you know, getting ready for the second daughter, let alone raising a two and a half year old, let alone, you know, moving into a new home that was I, I moved into last year and new job. And, you know, the whole COVID uh, season, I guess you would say the whole um, pandemic really put a hold on, you know, fishing and making video content. You know, it's always been on the back of my mind of making content and like reaching out to you guys and at answering some of the questions that you guys asked me through Instagram or through YouTube. But it's, it's believe it or not, it's hard to find the time to, to sit there in front of a computer for like two minutes when I have all these other things to do. But I'm slowly getting a grasp of things and of the new schedule with the new job and the new home, which I'm really uh, humbled and blessed about. And then, you know, taking care of my wife, I, I think I have a, a good grasp on it. And so I think I'm gonna go back into um, finding the time to make video content, to fish for halibut, to fish for bass, to fish for kerbina in the surf. Um, and just, you know, just make, just make content for, for you guys and just make content for myself because I may be going off a tangent, but I made these videos long time ago. I started YouTube long time ago because I wanted to have a documentary of myself to show my future kids someday about what I did when I was young or what I did for, for fun and for passion. And then of course it grew into educational videos and having like you guys um, watching it. It's just, yeah, I made it. That's why, that's why I want to go back. That's all. Awesome, man. Yeah. Um, well, I think everyone's stoked to see you on the screen, man. Like <laughs> just in terms of what you bring um, to everyone, you know, it, it's, it's crazy how um, social media can, you know, social media can be an ugly place, but, shoot man it, it's a beautiful place too man it, it, yeah. it can lift yeah. one spirit you don't even have to know the person you know yeah and so um yeah um so um kind of moving into what you were saying so uh any are you working on anything right now like what, what are you up to what you got anything for us and so, so with that being said i'm trying to get back into fishing and making video content and so my next piece that i think hopefully a lot of people would enjoy is how to catch halibut in the springtime i have the content i'm just trying to find the time to edit it and then post it for you guys so i think the hard part is you know catching the halibut and getting the content but then i guess the second hardest part is asking the wife if she could take care of a two-year-old while she's super prego to edit the video so yeah yeah so um, that's what's coming i just i just need to find the time to edit that's all yeah just to, just to give you guys a little bit of a background, um, so it, I don't know if you guys saw the video where I skunked, where we did a collab with Rodney, um, and then shortly thereafter, Rodney Rodney and I met up again, um, yeah. wanted to make another video. Yeah. Um, the video didn't get made, so you can tell, you can, you know, kind of know what happened there. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but um, like, so for me, um, one of the like, so I was there first um, in the morning and Rodney came about 30 minutes later and shoot, man, just to let you guys know the process of making a good video, I was like 
because for me at the time, I was just showing up to the beach and fishing, you know, like, and just turning on the camera. It's hard, man. It's really Rodney hard. shows up and the fishing was almost secondary. Like there's a process that he goes through in terms of what kind of footage he wants to capture and the story he wants to tell. And so it just, it, it, it like blew my mind. Not to say that I'm any, my videos are any better now, but it just, it pushed me, you know? So I'm like, oh shoot. Like, so that's why his videos are the way they are. Cause through his experience. And then for me, I was so stressed out. Cause I just, I wanted to catch a fish so bad. Right. And yeah. Rodney, Rodney's just, he's been there, done that. And one thing he told me, Rodney, when we we're walking, walking the sand that day was like, Oh, I remember when I was like that. <laughs> Dude, so that's I, I wanna I wanna give like a shout out to all the like the YouTubers who like you, Benji, JB Fishing, you know, Fishing Fam, all the YouTubers like Han Bonds, you know, yeah. um, Beyond the Trail, you know what I mean? Like really? it's hard to make fishing video content and like share the 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 knowledge and the stoke. Um you won't know until you try. So I, I mean, if anyone is trying to like see how how it is fishing and filming and then edit, make make a video and <laughs> you'll see. What I'm so yeah, it takes time. yeah, and I mean, it, it's all joy, you know. It, it it's fun, and yeah, yeah. and it's stinking hard. <laughs> you know, so when I went fishing with you in the in the surf, and I was making that video of how to catch uh, Corbina, and I got those like those b-roll shots yeah i find it just equally as enjoyable to make those videos and capture that shot of you you know sh hunting for gerbina i think that's the coolest thing you know what yeah. i mean like that's as equal as catching a a 21 inch halibut because <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean, mean it's, it's so awesome and, and that's one thing that you've taught me too, is the footage is what makes the video, you know, like, yeah. like, yeah. you know, a lot, of, I think, especially in the beginning for me, I was just hoping that it would get on camera. But if you're, the more intentional you are of getting that footage, the better you can teach, you know, um, yeah, for sure. the, the more effective the video will be too, you know? Yeah. For um, sure. Dope, man. Can oh, I shoot. Give, can I hey, give so, a <laughs> There's so many comments that I haven't haven't seen. I want to say like a shout out to you know Sniper Gene, Samuel, Peter, more than fishing. What's up, guys? Uh, Kiwi, Eddie B, Dominic, Melissa. Oh, my wife's watching. Nice. <laughs> uh, well, guys, big shout out, guys. Yeah. Thanks for letting Rodney um, come on my silly channel. <laughs> oh shoot, where'd Rodney go? Rodney dropped out, guys. He's gonna come back though. He's gonna come back. I don't know what happened. Um, so now I gotta um, kind of fill the space a little bit. But we'll, we're gonna get into some stuff here. Um, oh shoot, more than fishing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, June. Um, I gotta tell you, um, the first I think the first video I saw of you was uh, eating sand crabs, <laughs> and I just laughed, dude. <laughs> um, also, guys, if you're not, dude, if somehow you're not already following Rodney. Um, Man, um, his channel is in my video description. Please subscribe. I, I'm guessing 100% of you already are, but um, but please um, do that. Let me see through some of these comments. Also, guys, um, I think we'll head into some Q and A, um, and we'll kind of riff through some things. We're gonna try to get this. We're, we're gonna try to keep this stream to about an hour at the most. So there, there's Rodney. I think my wife cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. There you are. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also, guys, um, I'd love to answer um, any questions for you guys um, Rod, that you have for Rodney or myself. So in the chat, I can't promise I'll get to every we'll get to every single one, but we'll try to answer. If you have any questions, um, we'd love to answer. So um, put them in the comments below and Rodney and I will do our best to track it. Um, be nice to answer some fishing related questions for sure. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, while we wait for that, um, Rodney, you want to talk about maybe um, break down a little bit? Um, you were talking about spring halibut fishing tactics and, you know, talk, get down to nitty gritty a little bit. Um, yeah. um, so one of the videos I'm trying to make right now is how to catch halibut in the springtime 
And if you haven't caught halibut yet in SoCal, um, this is the time to try to target for halibut either in the bay or in the, in the surf. And I'll give you one good reason because the water temperature is starting to change. When that water temperature changes just like that, when it gets from cold, from the winter cold water to that springtime warm water, that transition just of coldness into just a little bit of warmness, a lot of the bait fish come in, a lot of the predator type fish come in in the bays. And if you notice a lot of the grunion runs, the schedules year after year after year, it starts in the springtime. And that's when the that's when that water temperature comes up. And so when there's a lot of grunions, a lot of bait fish coming on, can you hear me, Benji? Yes, I can. Um, that's when a lot of predator type fish start coming in. So a lot of the halibut come in to freeze those grunions, that, that bait fish. Um, they also like to spawn during this time. So if you can take advantage of, the, of this time of year that the halibut are coming into the shallows of like lures, I'm gonna show you some lures that I personally am using right now. Uh, I like this guy right here, this five inch swim bait, pearl white. Um, you can use any jig head. I, I like using a war baits jig head, something heavy. This is a three fourth ounce, but something heavy that could, you're fishing the bottom so you can cast pretty far and drag it on the bottom because again, how they are right near the, or right on the bottom. And then I like using the famous drop shot technique. So using like a straight worm hook and a one ounce torpedo weight. And then, you know, fishing any kind of fluke bait is really good when you're fishing the drop shot. And so, these colors, these white colors, you can use chartreuse or white. I really think they stand out the most when 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 fishing it in the murky waters of San Diego Bay or anywhere in SoCal. That's what I'm using for the bay and somewhat of like the shoreline in the bay. But if I'm fishing the surf, right? If I'm fishing the surf, I'm fishing in shallow waters. And so you're your tactics are going to be a little bit different. You're, you you can throw one of these guys, but it won't swim as natural when you're fishing in the shallows. So you want to fish something that Benji uses all the time, and I, I believe CSA uses all the time, the nice little Lucky Craft, right? What color is this one, Benji? That looks um, like the, oh, Salty Aurora Black? I, I don't know, probably. <laughs> But all I know is this color is really good and it swims really nice. So I'm I, I'm sure that all you guys are Lucky Craft fans. Um, that one looks really nice too. What is that one? This is the Super Glow MH Ghost Grunion. But basically, it's the Electric Grunion. It looks almost exactly like the Electric Grunion, yeah. but it's slightly transparent. But um, yeah, since you since you brought up Lucky Craft, um, I'm going to be giving this away tonight, guys. Oh, shoot. So, <laughs> so stick around <laughs> along with maybe some other stuff, you know, you gotta, you gotta sign it, Benji. Yeah. <laughs> and then one more thing that I, you can use the drop. You can even use the drop shot in the, in the surf. If, if anything, I honestly like using a grub because of the current there's, you know, there's always waves and movement of water constantly in the surf. So a, a grub like, like this guy right here, the tail, is always going to move, always going to move when you're fishing on a jig head or on a drop shot. Uh, but that little action right there, that'll, that'll entice some halibut to, to bite too. So that, yeah, for sure. I'm, um, yeah. You me special. I'm, I'm looking at all the comments here. Uh, where are the best places to fish in San Diego? Um, honestly, Anywhere, anywhere that has moving current, you know, you can fish Harbor Island, you can fish, you know, Shelter Island, Spanish Landing, anything of those, J Street and, uh, you know, down in the back bay, anything with moving water, that's the best place to fish in San Diego. Of course, not pressured areas with moving water, that's probably the best one too. Um, to answer, Dominic Peralta said Aurora Mac. So I guess this is an Aurora Mac. I don't think so. No, uh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, the and Aurora then, has like dark stripes on it. Oh, uh, okay. Jay Hawk says I'll fish out. I'll 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 fish out fish all these guys. I'm sure you do, man. Um, I haven't caught a halibut in on the Lucky Craft yet. Give it time, man. I mean, I that last halibut, legal halibut on the video, um, last video I made on catching a legal halibut, I made like 500 or 600 casts on the Lucky Craft to finally get that one bite. So <laughs> it's a grind. So. Yeah. I mean, for me, um, when I started halibut fishing, I primarily drop shotted. Um, and I think a lot of that was because of you um, when I was just starting out. And the drop shot is definitely very, very effective. Um, I will say for the Lucky Craft, you get less bites, but um, the quality tends to be a little better, tends to be better. Um, I grinded with the Lucky Craft for probably a year and a half where I wanted to quit, but people kept saying like, dude, the Lucky Craft, so I, so I committed to it, you know, and then I committed to it for a month straight and then nothing happened. So I put it down for another six months and then I gave it another try like half a year later and then I caught my first white sea bass like a 27 nice. inch white sea bass. And I'm like, okay. And then, um, and then I caught a legal halibut a week later. And then like a month later, I caught a 32 inch white sea bass. So in a one month span, um, like three pretty quality fish. And then it's, it was like game over. So, right. um, so that would answer, um, there was a question here, which do you prefer? Let me see here. Hmm. Uh, which do you prefer to hunt halibut, lucky craft or drop shot? So, um, for me personally, and this is just me personally, it's lucky. Uh, it's the lucky craft, but not to say that that's the best way. Um, you know, it's just my preferred method because I just that that grind and then that strike is like so rewarding for me. Yeah. Um, sure. But I, I have I'll have a most often I'll have a drop shot rod on my backpack and the lucky craft in my hand, and I'll switch back and forth. So I, I think it's I think it's uh, situational. If if I'm fishing the surf. Then I'll, I'll be fishing the this guy right here, but if I'm fishing the inshore, uh, like the bays from a boat or kayak or the shoreline in the San Diego Bay, I'll be using the drop shot over over this guy for sure. And uh, to tag what you're to go off of what you're saying, Lucky Craft definitely I, I or this this lure, you kind of weed out the little the little species. But it, it doesn't. It's not off the table. Like I've caught and perched this big. Yeah. But I, you know, I you know I caught that legal halibut, so I was pretty convinced. But to go off of that, you know, when you're fishing drop shot, you know, if you're fishing something small like this, like three inch swim bait versus this five inch swim bait, I think you're weeding off a lot of the the spotted bay bass or even the smaller halibut. I think the legal halibut are going to be keen on the bigger presentation, like a five inch or a six inch. Hence why I was using this guy. This guy is, uh, I believe it's a six inch swim bait on a three, fourth ounce jig head. So yeah, I'm just going off of uh, the Lucky Craft. I think it's really about qu uh, quality over quantity. If you want to weed off, uh, you know, the quantity, if you want to weed off, you know, trying to, trying to catch the legal halibut, go for something bigger. So a bigger presentation. Yeah. Not saying, not saying that the smaller presentation is off the table for catching right. the halibut, but in my opinion, from the years of um, testing it out on the water, I think um, something a five inch and above, you know, gets the bigger halibut to bite. Yeah, um, I want to answer a question from Adam Bu. Says I've been trying to fish Lucky Craft in the surf. I was thinking with the clinch knot after coming from a from NorCal fly fishing. How do you rig up your LC and are you looking for straight up sand? So um, to answer that question, um, Adam, thanks for the question, by the way. I use a tactical angler's clip. This is just me, by the way. Um, I use a 50 pound tactical angler's clip and I don't like the knockoff ones because they corrode really fast. These ones don't corrode, um, the actual tactical angler's clip. So I tie this onto about a 12 pound floral leader um, most of the time. And then um, I tie it up, tie a, I use a Palomar knot to tie this. And then on the Lucky Craft, um, let me grab one that I have. So this is a um, electric onion. If you noticed, I, t I removed the swivel. So I removed the sw swivel with uh, split ring pliers. Yeah, so there's a swivel on there on Rodney's. So you don't have to remove it, but if you're using the clip, take the swivel off and then just clip, um, you just clip 
this straight onto the nose. So then you don't have double double swivels, if that makes any sense. So that's how I tie it. Um, from the surf, I don't look for straight up sand. I look for rocks and reefs and um, structure. So oftentimes where you'll find halibut is where sand and structure meet. So obviously holes for sure. If you see a drop off and you see like a dark water or nervous water um, within casting distance, you know, work that hole. Um, halibut or something's going to be in there. But um, but more than anything, like for halibut specifically, if you see a beach that has a lot of reefs or um, rocks and that kind of stuff, where sand meets that structure tends to be a pretty good bet. So, you know, just put in the work and, you know, like keep your eyes open and put in the time. And then it's so much more rewarding when it works out. For sure. I think we were fishing the, uh, the this was last year when we were fishing the beach. Um, <laughs> I was on the structure that Benji was fishing. So I was, <laughs> I was on the reef. <laughs> Benji was nice enough to be like, uh, yeah, we the halibut should be right where you're standing. Because <laughs> I, I I'm new to fishing in the surf. Uh, last year, Benji, um, very very uh, very fortunate that Benji was showing me the ropes with surf fishing. So thank you, Benji, for that. But yeah, last year that was that was uh that's that's where we were targeting outside the reef, right where the sandy bottoms are, right where the hole is. So you know, here's the reef, here's the sandy bottoms. This is where the halibut are. Awesome. Um, SoCal JP Outdoors says, thanks so much, Rodney. I caught my first halibut and trout using your techniques. Ooh. I caught a six pound trout at Dixon. Hey, there you go. Trout fishing to halibut fishing. That's awesome. That's, that's what, that's, that's so cool. That's SoCal for you right there. <laughs> that's right, man. Um, oh yeah. Rodney was, oh yeah. So, um, what else, what, what else, uh, what should we talk about Rodney? Um, is there any people that are interested in, I guess the trout fishing season is, uh, winding down, right? So, I mean, if anyone had questions on trout fishing or any other species for that matter, I'll be happy. I think we'll be happy to answer any of those. Yeah. Or if you have any video suggestions for Rodney or myself, that, mm. a video that you'd love to see, and then Rodney and I will get into a fight afterwards if it's a good idea and we both want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cliche? What do I say? If we get 300 likes on this video, then let's, I'll make the video that anyone. Oh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Actually a halibut on a Hello Kitty rod. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. Saltwater Slayer. It's called split ring. That's right. It's called a split ring. You're correct. Sweet. Thank you. How to catch a sound in the city, Rodney says, how to catch a spotted bay bass, something bigger than 11 inches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bigger, Rodney, what's the, Rodney, what's the biggest spotty you caught? I think it was 17, 17 and three fourths. Oh, <laughs> dude. Way long ago. You, you beat me, man. I, um, and mine, do, mine doesn't even count. I don't even count it as like a true spotty, but I think I caught a, I think it was a 17 and a half, mm -hmm. but I was Corbina fishing, bro. Oh, nice. So I, I, I had a, a four pound test with a sand crab and a size eight owner mosquito and a, and a 17 and a half inch spotty came by far oh. my biggest spotty. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, with these bigger spotties, I thought that that spotty I caught anything 14 and above, I think they're halibut because of how, how like a tick of a line and it's so aggressive and it, like the ride was like, ch -ch 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 -ch. Like it's, it's so distinctive for sure. <laughs> for sure. Caston Spear, Edgar, Saltwater Slayer, Ruben. Oh, John from Caston Spear. Caston Spear is awesome, man. Yeah, um, I watched some of those videos. Yeah, check out um, his YouTube. But then he has a really uh, good website, John. And John's a good guy. I think like the good. common denominator of the people I, I, I just love to hang out with are like just positive, good people. You know, yeah. John's, John's one of them. So check out castandspear.com. It's a spear fishing website primarily, but there's yeah. there's fishing too. I think I've seen some of the videos. I, I really like the content. It's really cool. Yeah, John's good people, man. Really cool. Ooh, Samuel Baldera says, want to see you two make a video with Stang. I, dude, I'm down. 
Where you where you at, Steve? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Steve's such a good good guy too, man. Dude, I, I, we're so like I think I think we surround ourselves with positive people. Like all the people here on the on the chat. That's so cool to see their input and to like I mean the fishing community in SoCal is top notch. You know, it's it's very unique. I mean, it's unique because of the species that we're targeting, halibut, spotted bay bass. That spotted bay bass is nowhere else in the world except for here in SoCal, Baja area. Yeah. And so with that, it's like we have a unique fishery and then we have a unique tight-knit community. And so cool to see these two guys, these two together, you know. I could yeah. see it, you know. The, and then, yeah, it's so cool. I'm reading these comments. It's so awesome. Yeah, man. Um, Ron, you want to take this question from Masson M. What yeah. real rod combo do you guys recommend for spotties and what do you guys think about Ned rigs? Oh, that's a good question. If it's your first time for uh fishing for spotties, honestly, any um like 2000 size reel from Walmart will do will do wonders. I mean, I have <laughs> I have this guy, a lose reel. This is a Walmart special for sure. A lose reel, I think. It's like 50 bucks from Walmart. And I've caught in my, like, all the, like, a lot of the legal halibut on this rod, a lot of largemouth bass on this rod, and believe it or not, a lot of spotted bay bass. I think it's just such a good reel i'm not sponsored by any rod or reel companies but i, I really like the the want any walmart special <laughs> let's see here ron you want to answer this one mm -hmm. <laughs> it's from uh jay okay do you, oh, you spotted bay bass rodney no i mean i my wife is a marine biologist and a lot of the her cohort they did like toxicity levels in the bay and they said there's a lot of high mercury in the the fish that live in the bay so with that being said i've never wanted to try to eat like mercury fish <laughs> and i think it's a more of a uh, a sport so no so to answer your question no i have it <laughs> cool um let's uh um Let's do it. Let's do a giveaway real quick. Yeah, for sure. Okay. You got a giveaway? Yeah. Um, I'll, I already told you what one of them is, but I want to give away um, something. Um, so I talked about this in a couple of my videos, and I've kind of shared it on my Instagram a couple times. Um, this company, Extrata, uh, it's a JDM company, and they make jigs. And uh, I'm so bad at this, Rodney. You're so much better at this than I am. Um, <laughs> so they make – I'm really interested in the micro jigs. But they contacted me at the right time, and they sent me some stuff. And again, <clears throat> common denominator, um, I really like the person that reached out to me. Um, and uh, they're super cool. And they're they're, their stuff is legit. So I'm going to give away um, two. It's a 20-gram. One's, uh, one's a 20-gram, and it has rat rattles in it. And this one is a slower falling. I'm Dude, slow pitch. That really good. That one looks really good. Yeah, slow pitch. So, you know, um, uh, sorry to interrupt. I think that those ones are really good for macro fishing. Uh, I haven't fished it yet, but it looks like it's good for macro fishing. And then, believe it or not, it looks good for tuna fishing because I've done offshore fishing on those party boats. And yeah. believe it or not, the tuna that are you know eighty to even a hundred plus pounds, they're biting micro baits. And if you haven't put in the time offshore fishing, it's not necessarily how big the live bait is or the lure is. It's actually how lively and how small it is. Mm. So, yeah. Cool. So we're going to give it. These are both 20 grams. So these will be – you can use these in the surf. It's a, It's not too heavy for the surf. You can do it. I like throwing like the 10 grams, uh, 10 or 15 gram from the surf. But um, 20 gram will still work. But these will be great in the bays off of jetties. Um, Bonito, um, you know, things like that. Mackerel, um, spot. I think spotties will eat these too. Um, so um, I want to give away a couple.
couple of these. The way we're going to do this, and this is the way we do it in CSA. And again, just a repeated shout out to um, CSA. Nice hat, Rodney. I like it. Uh, <laughs> someone cool gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but shout out to CSA, who's uh, just a amazing fishing community. Um, just a great place to learn. Um, learn. So um, shout out to them. But I um, want to give these away. So here's what we're going to do, okay? Um, I'm going to leave it open, like, really quick. I know the chat's going to go crazy, but here's what we're going to do. Um, pick a number between 1 and 500. <laughs> can I play? Sweet. Um, and you guys, you guys can go until I say stop. So you can start now. 1 and 500. All right? And then uh, Mr. Rodney Marquez is going to pick the number. The person who gets closest to the number without going over wins it. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not looking at the the chat right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look at the chat. Uh, oh people. man, the number. Oh shoot, it's going crazy. I think it's gonna blow up. <laughs> yeah, I'm look at the chat. So should I do like a uh, random number? Yeah. So don't look at the chat. And then can you write down on a piece of paper? Yeah, I'm gonna and then show what you write down. Oh shoot, so many, so many, so many. All right, we're gonna leave it open for another 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight. Also, please only please only play once. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I can filter through it. If I catch it, I'm only gonna include the first one I see. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bang. All right, okay. you see it? we're gonna stop at, oh shoot. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, this has a little bit of a delay. Can you see it? Yeah. You guys only play once, okay? Oh, shoot. It's 340. It's going to cut off at mass and... Oh, dude. <laughs> 340. 340. We're going to stop it. If I see it 340, it's not going to win. I don't know how long how big the delay is. You say 340. So Jeffrey Morris has 310. That's the closest one I see so far. Um... I don't uh, I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna help you too. Oh, Can Domingo I... got 333. Uh he's a winner for sure. That was really early in the chat, too. Oh shoot. There's so many. You guys please only play once. <laughs> yeah, they stopped doing the comments. Though. Okay, thank you guys. Yeah. I I realize there's a delay, so if I repeat myself like 10 times, I apologize. <laughs> My kids, my kids are an, an annoyed by me. Oh, my wife. Oh, shout out to my wife who's moderating this chat. Thank you, Rebecca. And and, and my wife who lets me fish and, and chase this dream. A freaking dream, man. Um, you know, just, uh, but without her, none of this is possible. And she's taking the time to think and moderate this chat. And she just messaged me to let me know that Domingo wins. <laughs> so <laughs> congratulations, Domingo. <laughs> Domingo, can you do me a favor? Um, shoot me a, a direct message, a DM on Instagram, or email me at benjikimfishing at gmail.com, and um, I'll send these jigs out to you tomorrow or Tuesday. All right? So benjikimfishing at gmail.com or um, a DM on Instagram. So congrats, Domingo. All right, 745. So I promise, um, I think Rodney and I promised each other no more than an hour so we're at about 45 minutes we warmed up so we'll you know how you doing ronnie you doing all right pretty good yeah I, we can answer a few more questions or talk about more things whatever okay. you guys want. you know i'm here for you guys i want to give a shout out to my wife for you know taking care of my daughter right now while we, we do all these things yeah and that's yeah and dude um oh that's one thing i forgot to tell you too when you're in introing rodney is is um you know to everyone also man like family first, man, like sure. first things first. And, um, that's one thing I respect about you too, man. It's like, um, putting first things first. And so yeah, that's you. way more important. Thank yeah. you. Shout out um, to all you guys who are watching 70 plus people, you know, just watching. Yeah. Here we got up to 80. And talk about fishing. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. You know what? Um, let's, let's go ahead and do one more and we'll finish out the giveaways and then we'll have some last words yeah. and then, um, is that cool? 
Yeah, 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 for sure. And, and uh, we'll kind of finish up the chat. Um, so this is the um, Super Glow, uh, Super Glow MH Ghost right. Grunion. It's a 110, um, and it's my favorite one to throw, um, the 110. One to two foot diver. You guys want to use this in sh probably low tide conditions and shallow water columns. Um, and so remember with, when throwing jerk baits, guys, if you're, if you're in deep water, the water looks really deep, throw a 115, 130, throw something deeper or just throw a drop shot or a jig head like Rodney was talking about. Um, it's going to be better than – you don't want to throw this in deeper water columns and then get frustrated. So if you're throwing in deeper water and you do it 2,000 times, you don't catch anything. You say, this thing doesn't work. Part of it could be you might not be throwing it under the right, right conditions. But um, let's let's give this away. Um, okay. I'm going to do it more, more organized. So please enter only once. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> please enter only once. And uh, let's do um, a number between 1,000 and 2,000. Number between 1,000 and 2,000. Um, same rule applies. Closest number without going over wins. And uh, we're going to have Mr. Marquez. Take care of this for us. Sweet. I'm doing a random generator. Ah. Robert put 69. It's not <laughs> over, over a thousand, guys. Over a thousand. Yeah, one thousand to what did I say? Three thousand? Or five thousand? You already forgot. <laughs> uh. Oh man. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Yeah. Keep going, guys. 1,000 to 2,000. And um, let's let it go for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Finish. What's the number, Rodney? It's 106. Oh, 04. 106, oh, 04. 106. Wait, 106. Say it one, one more time. 10 or oh, sorry, 1604. Oh, okay, okay. 1604. Oh shoot, there's a lot of close ones. I know. We got Peter Sandoval 1500. John's John's uh Spires Spires. Um 1555. Oh, okay. Or Jeffrey Morris, one six one nine. Oh, he went over though. Mm. I see a one five seven five. Okay. Wait, what was the number again? One six zero four. One six zero four. One six zero four. Well, I think John John six one nine G has one five seven five. Sound the city went just over. Oh, oh, babe! I hope you can help me. I'm dying. I, I, what have I done? <laughs> so many numbers. <laughs> uh, I honestly think it's. Um, oh shoot! He went over. I think it was the one I said, huh? I think it's John. Is it one five five five? Uh, I have one five seven five. Uh oh. Oh. My wife says redo. What? What happened? Shoot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> why redo? I don't know why she said redo. <laughs> Shane, Shane just wants it. Oh, okay, okay. I think it's John. We're going to give it to John. Yeah, I think it's John. Um, let's see. He didn't go here. over it. He didn't go over the number. One five seven five, right? One six zero four. Yeah. One. Yeah. So John six one nine G. Unless I'm wrong, someone correct me. But John six one nine G. Congratulations. Gonna send this out to you. Um, electric onion, and now's the time to use it. So I always bust out the electric onion in the spring. I have a question. So uh, I wanted to ask the audience, um, all seven of you guys, would you guys be down to do like a meetup in the surf 
if you guys are in San Diego or in SoCal, do you guys want to do like a, you know, a social distancing, you know, get together fishing for halibut or for corbina sometime soon? Just, just wondering. I just want to see how many people are into it. Shoot, I mean, yeah. Philip? Yeah, potential get together. Yeah, yeah I don't think we've discussed this um, at all, but um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I my, my wife is due next month. So I might be MIA a little bit, but you know, in the summertime, I want to, you know, I want to like get to know, get to know all you guys. You know, I, I've seen some people on the, on the chat that I've seen, you know, like been on my channel for quite some time. Like Vince Long has been there. You know, it's just a lot of people, Eddie B, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of people that. I, I think I feel like I, I owe it to them or I mean, I mean it's it's your it's your video Benji but no you know, I think <laughs> like get no. together you know that'd be kind of cool yeah and for <laughs> for those of you guys that um are you know loyal supporters of Rodney thanks so much for tuning in here man um yeah. I really appreciate it but you know no dude that's that's awesome man train hey Robert Ferguson thank you so much man Appreciate that. Uh, more than fishing still here? I think I saw him in the comments. Yeah, he was, you know, I, I wanted to respond, but we were like talking about so much stuff. So um Yeah, shoot. Yeah, and for sure, um, for sure, you guys, um, CSA meetups, you know, we just had one um in the central coast, and we're gonna have one in NorCal, and then we did um in Orange County a battle of the West Coast, and that was kind of our meetup. But there's more stuff coming from CSA too. For those so those of you guys that are in California surf anglers. Um, definitely, man. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe we can like, you know, combine it or something. Um, or if not, do yeah, it separate. Yeah. You know, but um, I'm sure I, that would be super cool too. You know. Um, See you, Samuel. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, you know what? Let's let's use Samuel's cue to wrap it up. And let's not drag it on. Unless there's anything else, um, anything else that you guys want to talk about. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Is that I it? it? Was, I think it was a nice li a live chat to be, to be yeah, honest. It's um, the first time doing a, like a live chat like this. You know, I've been on podcasts before and of course I made videos, but never like live chat. So that this is pretty cool. Yeah. Good stuff. Hey, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and Rodney, thank you so much um, for just your friendship and mentorship. Yeah. Um, for sure. Likewise, man. Likewise. Yeah, dude. And, uh, um, and everyone like blessings to Rodney for a um, little one coming. Yeah. Thanks. Um, thanks. Thanks Benji. So, thanks. um, Hey you guys, um, let's keep grinding. Let's keep it positive. Um, just positive. Let's encourage each other, help each other. Um, and keep, keep this SoCal, like Rodney talked about, keep this SoCal fishing community, the great place that it is. Dude. Um, yeah. we all play a part in that. Yeah. So, Let's yeah, do it like, together. Like I said, it's a special niche in SoCal. And the the species that we target is such a special niche. And the people, the anglers, just like you guys, me and you, Benji, and all the people on the chat and other people that we fish with in SoCal, it's a special niche. You know, you don't get that anywhere else in the world. So keep it up, guys. Keep up the positive vibes. Thanks, Benji, for having me on your live chat. You know, thanks, Rebecca, for being a moderator. Thanks, uh, everyone. Thanks, everyone. No better way to close than that. Until next time, guys. Tie lines. <laughs>